Hi, in the last video we were discussing uh, a price equalization proposition and we were discussing actually the part of it that stated that once we have a factor, prices of factors of production, we can derive directly prices of final goods. Now, we are going to go in the opposite direction. So, assuming that we have price of manufacturing and price of good, we will be able, we are able to find unit value is a quant. Having unit value is a quant, we can find is a quant. We can find uh, is a cost. And having is a cost, we will be able to find wages and rates. But um, but uh, the thing is, uh, this result. Uh, I want to show you how this result uh, works directly. And to do so, we unfortunately need to go through very complicated derivation. Well, it's not complicated, it's just time consuming. Uh, and this is what we're going to do, do here. So, let's start with what we had previously. So, uh, we had, we've established. Price of manufacturers can be expressed as some uh, gamma m times rand to the power alpha m times w to the power minus one minus alpha m. And look, by the same token, we 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 have expressed price of food as uh, gamma F R alpha F W one minus alpha F. Okay, so look now that we've got those two, we can solve both of these equations for rent and equalize them. And let's do it. And look, because there will be very a lot of very similar calculations uh, for manufacturers and for food. I will be just doing this for manufacturers and uh, then, we'll, uh, uh, then we will get uh, a, a result for, uh, for food right away. Okay, so first, let's solve this equation for time. So first we divide both sides by uh, r to the power alpha m and by p. Right? So we get Okay, 
look, this I can use uh, to write the final expression for rates. So I got alpha m 1 minus alpha m to the power 1 over alpha m over alpha m uh, times w to the power negative 1 minus alpha m over alpha m times pn to the power 1 over alpha m. Now, look, knowing this result, we right away obtain the result for food, right? Because this one over here, all we have to do is to substitute m for f. So we would get alpha f, uh, 1 minus alpha f to the power negative 1 over alpha f, alpha f, w negative 1 minus alpha f over alpha f, p f1 over alpha f. Okay, and look, this here we have actually a derivative express rent on one hand as a function of price and manufacturing and on the other as a function of price of food. So now we can compare both sides of the equation and we will get alpha m 1 minus alpha m to the power negative uh, 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 1 over negative uh, L alpha m, 1 minus alpha m over alpha f, w negative 1 minus alpha m over alpha m, pm 1 over alpha m equals to alpha f, 1 minus alpha f, uh, 1 minus alpha f over alpha f times w minus 1 minus alpha f over alpha f p f 1 over alpha f ok so what can we do with this right now? look, now what we can do is that we can solve this entire equation for which and if we will be if, if we will Solve this. Okay, so how do we do it? So, first, let's put all the expression in wage on the left hand side and everything else on the right hand side. So, here, look, I will divide by both sides by this and by this. So, what am I getting? I will get that this is wage to the power negative 1 minus alpha m over alpha m. Plus, because I'm dividing, so I'm, I'm, I need to be. Uh, 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 so I basically multiply both sides by this expression, but without the minus, right? So we would have plus here. 1 minus alpha f over alpha f. And this is equal to, and this is going to be very pleasant, but alpha m times 1 minus alpha m to the power negative 1 to the power minus 1 minus alpha m over alpha m uh, alpha f 1 minus alpha f 1 minus alpha f over alpha f and now uh, only thing we got across pm 1 uh, over alpha m we also need to divide both sides of the prices. So we just put minus over here and here, PF1 over alpha. And look, now what I'm gonna do to make this look nicer, or uh, to make this expression look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna take both sides. Uh, I'm gonna take both sides um, to the power negative okay okay and i'm going to be doing now this step by step so now both sides here change to the opposite so we've got w to the power 
1 minus alpha m over alpha m minus 1 minus alpha f over alpha f. And look, what I'm going to do now, before I'm going to start writing the other side, I'm going to simplify this as much as possible. And look, this is quite easy here. All I need to do is to bring those two fractions into the common denominator, and I'm getting, and I'm getting this. Those two. And 
but this is not that problematic at this moment because we got that this is PM PM here to the power alpha f over uh, alpha f minus alpha m times pf negative alpha m over alpha f times minus alpha m. Okay, and finally, the last thing, um, the last thing I want to do. I want to do over here is to do the same trick uh, is to do the very same trick we've done, we've done over here so I'm gonna change the order and change the sign of the numeric so look, I'm getting the W is equal to gamma W times PM negative alpha F over alpha m minus alpha f and pf times alpha m over alpha m minus alpha f. Okay, and this result, mm, this result is exactly what we wanted to have. Look, now we have simply solved this entire uh, we we solved uh, uh, we solved our loop model for w and what do we get we have now expressed wage as a function of both price of manufacturers and price of food now we could do exactly the same thing for uh, uh, for red, but of course, first we have to solve the two equations with prices for W, equalize it, and go through this in horrible, horrible deri derivation process again. We're not going to do it, so let me just write you that in this circumstance we could find that R. And please try to do it at home as a uh, as an exercise. Is given by this alpha m minus alpha f times p f negative one minus alpha m over alpha m minus alpha f times gamma r. And this gamma r, unfortunately. Also, is a very unpleasant expression on of the very similar form, but it looks like a little bit different. This is uh, so we got alpha m, alpha m over one minus alpha m, and so of course here we would have uh, one minus alpha f, alpha f to the power alpha f over one minus alpha m. As you see. Everything here is very symmetrical, and finally on the top you would have one minus alpha m times one minus to the power one minus alpha m times one minus alpha f divided by alpha m minus alpha f. Okay, and I know that this entire process was very very unpleasant we had to do a lot of very unpleasant transformations associated with exponents but as you will learn in the next video what we have done over here will allow us to find stop uh, to prove stoppler samuelson proposition with an extreme ease and this is going to be a subject of our next video Thank you for your attention.